Welcome back savages to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to get your keyboard back after you've installed the latest Windows 11 version 22H2 update. So I actually went through this myself. Um, I installed the Windows 22H2 update, restarted the machine and then the keyboard would not work. And when I say it's not working it basically had no power and there's nothing you could do to get it to work whatsoever. The keyboard itself was fine. If you plugged it into a USB slot on another PC or a laptop, it worked fine. It just wouldn't work in the PC that had this 22H2 update installed on. So in this video, I'm going to go through the procedure I used to re-enable the keyboard. Let's go. So although the keyboard is not working, the mouse should be fine. So as long as your mouse is working, you should be able to follow this tutorial. So you've got no keyboard, how do you get into Windows? Well, you can do that by using a virtual keyboard. And the way you enable this virtual keyboard is on the login screen, click this button, which is called the ease of access button. Once you do that, you'll get a little menu that pops up. You want to click on on screen keyboard, which is that one. And then you'll be presented with a virtual keyboard. And that should allow you to click on these buttons and enter your password to enable you to log into Windows. Okay, great. So we've logged into Windows. So the next thing we need to do is to re-enable the on-screen keyboard. And the way you can do that is by clicking on the start icon, which looks like that in the bottom left. Once you've done that, go into settings, accessibility, keyboard, and then turn the on-screen keyboard toggle button to on. And you should have your on-screen keyboard back on the screen. The next step we need to do is to open device manager. And it's really simple to do again. Just go on to the start menu in the bottom left again. This time right click on it and select device manager. Once you've done that, I've now got a video tutorial to add to this to show you the steps you need to do to re-enable your keyboard. Let's go. 